This is actually a highly requested video from a number of you that have asked me repeatedly to kind of do a hair tutorial. Well, I, I don't feel that I have the knowledge or the skills to do a true hair tutorial, but since the question has come up repeatedly to show how I use and apply my fake hair pieces when I put my hair up. How am I doing that? So that's what this video is all about and maybe a little bit of me rambling because see what I did to my neck? Can you see that? I cut my neck. But anyways, I digress. So um, if you're interested in seeing how I do my sort of casual, very, very casual updo, stay tuned. Okay, let's get at it. So first things first, and I've mentioned this many, many a times in the past, I buy most of my hair pieces either in Sally's or Ulta. I am lucky enough that I can usually get a hair piece that matches my own hair pretty well. So I like to have the, the straighter wrap, as you can see here. This is a straighter wrap look. And I like this one a lot. This is the same thing, except that this was a, a fuller package. There's a thinner one and a fuller package, and sometimes you can get a double, which I really like because oftentimes you can apply two of these. So these are two that are, this is sort of my backup stash. I keep these in my bag because I don't use them until, I'm not gonna use them until my other ones have kind of worn out or I feel they're too, trashy to continue to use. Does that make sense? These, the ones in Sally's that I bought are a more of a curlier. And when you use these hair pieces, depending on the look you're trying to create, if it's a real formal look, I'm gonna go with the curlier one as opposed to the straighter one. But if it's a more casual, kick back, relax, I just wanna throw my hair up, I'm gonna use the, the straighter ones for sure. Those are my preferred ones that I use to go to work in usually. I do have a couple of the curly ones. They look like this. I normally will manipulate these pieces before I attach them. In other words, I have a, a pick, something with more of a wide tooth, and I kind of manipulate the curls a little bit. You have to be really careful with these because these curly ones, if you comb them out too much, they'll get a real frizzy look, as you can see. So, you know, they're not made, I mean, they're, they're probably, I probably paid, on sale at Sally's with my hairdresser's discount. I mean, I paid probably about $12 or something like that. So I bought two of them in the curlier ones. And you can see when you're looking at the packages whether they're curlier or whether they're straighter. And there are a really good variety of colors. There's some really blonde, blonde colors. And then there's some you know, darker browns and, and reds and stuff like that. So they really have a great, great variety. So this would be for more of a formal look for me. But usually during the week when I'm going to work, I'm going to do something like you're seeing right now. I've already kind of casually, and I use the Invisibobbies or any other type of an elastic when I pull my hair up. Now my hair is shorter in the back, so I usually have a lot of fallout. And I just turn so you can kind of like see what I've done. So this is, I just pulled it up and it's in a, an Invisibobby and I've done nothing else to it. So if I want to have a real casual look, I'll take these. These are all this sort of scrunchy style, so they're elastic. So I will take this after I've manipulated the hair. This is the straighter one, not the curlier one. And I will put it around my hair. I'll pull it through, double it sort of, so to speak. And you can almost immediately see the look that I have got. Now, I have not played with it because I didn't double over my own natural hair. My own natural hair is sticking out straight. So you usually have to look in the mirror to see how it looks in the back, to see whether I need to fold it in, to see what I need to do. And I am perfectly content with this look just the way it is. For me to go out today, very casual, go to work, this is the look. Now, the way I would normally finish it is I have several, I have several hair clips, claw clips. There are some that are flatter, that are a little bit more comfortable, but I have several. I have larger ones, I have smaller ones, I have several of these. So normally I would be taking a hair clip, whichever one I want, and I would go up like this, 
know if you can see it, and I pull my own hair up, and I would bring this close to the top. You don't have to do this, but usually when I do that, it sort of like finishes my look. It does look like I have a claw clip holding it all up. Yeah, I mean, right now it's a little bit messy, but I also like to have more of my bangs in the front. When I pull my bangs off my forehead, it's much more of a stark look. So I will take some bobby pins. I will secure this to my bobby, you know, my head with bobby pins, and I would be good to go for the day. I've doubled the wrap around my own hair, so it's really tight on my hair. I feel totally comfortable. I also have some really cute little hair accessories. I didn't bring them all in. I don't want this video to be super long, but I have some really cute little hair accessories. I don't know if you can see these. And I have a number of them. I have some just pure rhinestones. I have all sorts of different clips. The, the thing that I caution you about when you buy the really fancy clips and pins and um, combs, barrettes, is if they're metal, they're heavy. And if you don't have a lot of hair volume, it can weigh your hair down. It can pull it down too. So I'm very careful on how I apply this. When I went to the wedding, my niece's wedding, I put my hair up in one of these and I did apply a bunch of little, pretty little, you know, um, pins with the little diamonds on it. So now I'm going to take this off just to show you again, my own hair right here sticking out. If I, I also have a more casual little tiny, tiny wispy one. This actually had a clip that came with it, but there are times that I pin this right to the top of my head. I'm home and I'm home all weekend and or whatever, and I don't really want to do anything. Sometimes I just walk around in the house like this, and then I'll take a comb and I'll twist this up and I'll just put like a, you know, whatever, a comb in the back just to pull it up. But I like the look of the messier, the messier look. So this is a, this is a wispy piece that I also bought in Ulta and I left my bobby pins right here. And this is like 10 bucks. So when they have the 20% off or their, you know, their sales, I, I'll, I'm going to buy another one because I long lost the little clip. It had a little clip, so it made it really super easy for you to add this little wisp wherever you wanted to have a wisp. I love this. This also comes in many different colors. The other thing I also have is this, and many of you have asked about this little piece. So this is sort of a braid, and the color I think is really close to my own color. So what I would do if I was going to use this, sometimes, you know, I will put it right around my head. But you've got to remember this has got the little cloth and you have to hide it if you're going to wear it or you're going to have to just wear it with your hair down, which is what I've done in the past. I put it, my hair down, I just let my hair go down on it. But if I was going to wear this, I would wear my pieces and I would double up on my piece. So I might have my top one and I might have a bottom one. So it looks like that. And I would pin these in place and it would cover up a lot of it. I really like the hair accessories. There are times that I, instead of putting my hair up, so sometimes I just kind of twist my hair in a bun in a French, you know, sort of like a French twist. And I, I twist it. And then maybe I'll just go like this. I try to pull it a little loose. And then I'm going to make a decision, which one do I want? I'm going to take this. And I'm going to wrap this around the outer edges of my, my clip. When I do it like this, it does take a lot of manipulation because I like it a little higher on my head. And sometimes if you have it lower on your head, you just don't have enough volume, etc. But I do, you know, you don't have enough um, you don't have enough of the, um, you know, seeing it on top of your head, which I like. I like that look more. So I'm going to take this off. Go back to my ponytail because that's the look I'm going to 
that's what I'm going to create. So I have my little Invisibobby. And I'm going to pull this up once or twice, three times. I'm going to go around. Usually I try to pull it. And again, I'm going to go around twice. Depending on what I did with my hair, how it looks will depend on whether or not this is sort of a finished look or not. I always would add my clip. So I'm going to add my hair clip. And sometimes if I don't want the wispies, I'll take a bobby pin and I'll pin down the top part. Sometimes if I want more wispies, I will add my other wispy piece. <laughs> I hope this kind of helps you see how easy it is for me. I mean, if you can get your hair, no matter how short of a nubby up top of your head into a ponytail, you can use one of these wraps. Whether it's the curlier wrap that you can get or the straighter look wrap. And then you just get yourself some combs and some clips. And you have to always try to, you know, when you're messing around with your hair, it gets messier. But you just get yourself some clips and, you know, whatever one, whatever type of clip you want. Like this is the one I usually wear when I have the clip because it's, it's bigger and I can wrap the thicker piece around it. But whatever you really want. And then you fix your bangs. My hair is thinning. My bangs to me is like where I really struggle to try to fix my hair the best, you know, to come up with a, a look. And then as this falls down, you can always pin it up with bobby pins again. <laughs> so that's how I create my updo. It's really simple. It's really simple. I hate to even say this is any kind of a hair tutorial because I really don't feel it is. So yeah. And so I'm heading shopping and this is exactly how I'm going to go out. I'm going to pin some of this in here and I am going to go out looking just like this. Casual little funky updo. I'm going to put jeans on. I've got a sweatshirt on and that's it guys. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you watch my videos all the time and you're not subscribed, I really wish you would. It's kind of very interesting because I'm not, I'm not really into the analytics as much as I probably should be, but every time I go to the analytics, it surprises me the amount of people that watch my videos that are not subscribed. I think something like 68% of the folks that watch me on a regular basis, according to my analytics, are not subscribed to the channel. So I would really love it, really love it if you would subscribe. It would help me a lot. I truly appreciate all your support. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.